A uh, very good morning everyone, Jorni here with another uh, London session video. Today is the 11th of April 2022. The time of this recording is 11 minutes before 10 a.m. UK time. Before I start guys, as always, I would like to highlight that this is not financial advice and this is just the way that I see the markets and that I would like to share with all of you. Okay, cool. I would like to discuss a little bit the dollar index in this video. Yeah. Um, we created a high and we created this high around mid-March 2020 and we created a low, I think it was the start of 2021, January 2021. So this was our high, this was our low. If this is our trading range, then you know guys that I like for price to rebalance, yeah, to always go and revisit the higher prices within the range or the lower prices within the range. And what we can see within a range is the so-called inner range liquidity. We did have single highs over here, which I consider as inner range liquidity. This is liquidity that sits within this trading range. Yeah, inner range liquidity is liquidity that sits um, in between a trading range and that are and those are significant highs or significant lows that have been formed or that have been formed within a uh, specific trading range. So we've been trading down, yeah, but we could see some lower highs and this is a lower high, this was a lower high. So this is my inner range liquidity. What we could see is that our inner range liquidity here and inner range liquidity that has been formed over here has been liquidated. Yeah, the market has been trading through the inner range liquidity. The only thing now what I think that market has not been liquidated yet is are the highs that are sitting over here. Yeah. So I do believe that market, maybe this week, will try to reach for the 101 level on the dollar index. Okay. We, uh, if we go now on a four hour time frame, then we can see that in the last couple of days, uh, last couple of weeks, basically, we've been, um, We've been ranging, yeah, uh, we have been ranged. This was our range, okay, we've been ranging. This this has been our range. But what was very, very important and very significant for me, and I think most of you guys that have been trading with me already for a while, you guys know that I always like to look for those gaps, yeah? So those gaps in the market, these are, the, for me, the so-called real support and real resistance, yeah? And we could see that price failed to break the gap, yeah? or to close within this gap. What we could see here, and when we saw this closure, I thought, okay, cool, we can we can go lower, we can go lower, but look what happened. Price failed again to break strongly or on a daily, even on a four hour or on a daily, uh, on a daily candle, price failed to close below this gap and we traded higher. So what, what does this mean for me now is that I am quite Bullish, yeah, I'm bullish on dollar and I do believe maybe by the end of the week uh, or at least by the end of the month, I would like dollar to reach for 101, okay? If we consider this now as our trading range or this was our trading range and we broke above, I would like, I always like to measure the trading range, yeah? So this is the length and then I always like to target at least the same length to the upside. If this was my trading range, okay, so this can be my target, and that, um, and that is actually um, is coincidence or not, but this is the one-on-one -on -one level that I've been talking to. Okay, cool, perfect. Jordan, are we gonna buy uh, dollar straight away? No, we always like um, to buy dollar at discount prices. Yeah, whenever we want to buy something, we like to buy at discount prices. Whenever we like to sell something, we try to sell at premium prices. Okay. Last week, what I really did like is that we broke above the 100 level and yeah, we broke above the 100 level and then we could see significant reaction. We broke above, we could see a significant reaction. I do see here some imbalance. Yeah, I can see here some imbalance. So I do believe that dollar yeah, might want to trade a little bit lower, maybe seeking the imbalance over here and then trade higher, yeah, and then trade higher. In an ideal scenario, I would like to see dollar trading lower on a Monday into tomorrow, yeah, maybe tomorrow morning session, tomorrow London session, or even the afternoon New York session. I would like price to trade back into these areas. Once dollar is trading into these areas, I will be looking for uh, nice short opportunities on whether it's cable or EURUSD, 
yeah, that's something that we will see. So this is my outlook, guys, for today. I do believe that we will see some lower prices on dollar. Overall, market is very bullish on dollar. Uh, target 101. Hopefully, we will reach that target by the end of the month. Um, but for this week, um, I would like to see some lower dollar pricing into Tuesday. Yeah, into Tuesday. You know, guys, Tuesday. Uh, normally highs and lows of the week are formed on a Tuesday so I would like to see market trading back into this area and then we might look for a very nice short opportunities on EURUSD or GBPUSD anyway guys I will update you in the discord uh, whenever I, uh, I see a nice trading opportunity I will not hesitate of course to share that with you um, so this was it for uh, this was it for me guys um, I hope to see you in the next video and I really hope of course that this video was helpful have a good one bye bye